I want to go to Nick out of Florida. Nick, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hey, Nick. Hey, how you doing? All in well. Speak up a little bit. Uh, all right, hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah, but just speak right into the phone and just a little, a little louder. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I've been watching your show for a little bit. I called before about a situation. Okay. And, uh, long story short, I'm moving out of my mama's house. You're moving so, out? Yeah. How old are you? 22. Congratulations. Yeah. How, did, how, yeah, uh, how does it feel knowing you're moving out? At first, like, when I had bought the flight, I was, like, kind of scared. Because, like, I ain't really worried about, like, life. But, like, I don't know. I kind of, like, I don't want nothing bad to happen. Like, I ain't trying to, like, go back to, like, jail or nothing. So I didn't want to get into, like, an altercation with nobody. Right. But that's really, uh, that's really all I was worried about. Oh, you you were concerned about <clears throat> getting into an argue, argue, argue with, with, argument with someone ended up back in jail? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I ain't trying, to, I ain't trying to get into that. Well, the way you avoid that, I'm tell, this work, Nick, and I'm telling you the truth, it does work. It cannot fail. Never, ever, ever, as long as you walk this earth, Never argue with another person about anything. And don't argue with the with the spirits, the thoughts in your imagination inside of your head. And do not argue with anyone about anything, and you'll be just fine. Yes, sir. So don't try to prove anything. If somebody call you names or they try you you only need to uh protect yourself. If it's a physical threat and you need to protect yourself physically, then you do that. But as far as arguing with people and trying to prove anything to anyone, never do that. You just argue with another devil, two devils arguing. So if you do that, you would never end up back in jail. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Uh And like, I got I got one more like question. Okay. I don't know if it's a question. I just noticed it. But I've been doing this silent prayer like real consistent. And I noticed I'm not as like goofy as I used to be. Yep. And like I noticed like a lot of young females, like I've been getting more attention from them. So like I was watching Bond and you said like kind of like you got to kind of like let go of your religion and let go of like what you think is love and all that. Yeah, but I feel like if I let go of all that, all of that, I might have, I might have sex out of way lot because like oh, these girls kind of, you know, they be looking good. I like, know no <laughs> funny joint like they be, like, you know, but like, I'm a young man, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I understand. I be trying to avoid it. Well, the so way you avoid it, the way you avoid it is, is stay away from the thoughts about it. When you see those girls and they're tempting you. Especially now, it's going to be more overwhelming because you're working on yourself. You're overcoming the spirit of mama. And so you're going to get a lot of temptation from girls. The devil is sending those girls to you. Just stay out of your head about fantasizing or being with them and just continue to do the silent prayer and work on you. You'll be fine. Yes, sir. I but appreciate it. Yeah, just don't get into your head about it. All right. Hold on. Can you hold on a minute, Nick? Yes, sir. Hold on. Uh, let me go quickly back to Nick out of Florida. So, Nick, you're 22. You're finally moving out. You're getting your own place, right? Yes, sir. Well, uh, well yeah, that's the plan. What did your mother yeah. say about you moving out? Uh, she was she was actually, like, more supportive than I thought. Right on. Like, he didn't really, like, try to hold me in. He was kind of like, oh, okay, you know. Yeah, I got a call in for your life. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I just left. So and, so, and so now, once you move, just, you know, do the silent prayer, watch those thoughts, go to work, 
and and save your money and just live your life daily. And when those girls try to tempt you, you let it pass. And if God want you to, if God want you to have a wife or anything like that, he, he will make it possible without your help. And it'll be the right woman. But don't be concerned about that right now. Your primary concern is overcoming your father's state, meaning overcoming the anger and the imagination. And then right. and, and go to work, save your money, and just live a simple life. Okay. But how do I know if how do I know if I'm not well I guess I don't know, I guess I ain't gonna worry about it. I was gonna say how how do I know if I'm not like ignoring this girl is God sent her or you know Because if God yeah. puts something in your life you can't ignore it. So don't worry about that. Okay. And, and plus, you're 22 years old. You're too young to get married anyway. You got to get your life going first. You got to get get your own play, get a job, save some money, and work on yourself. Right. And so right now, you don't need that in your in your life. You don't need that kind of trouble. Yeah. No, I feel you. I ain't even looking. I just yeah. didn't want to mess up on that. Yeah, don't even think about that for now, right? Yeah, That is that it? Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm at work. Oh okay. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, and go back but to I work. And, you. You're welcome, buddy. Let me know how it goes. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Stay with the prayer, though. Stay with the silent prayer, and watch those thoughts. Let them pass. Of course. Of course. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> 